Hi everyone, it's Asma from Achievable Journey. I've come on today to speak and give you some tips about how to bring our anxiety down, especially on these times that everywhere we look or listen is all about the coronavirus, which is fair enough, we do need to know what's happening. But sometimes with social medias or anything like that, having a lot of that causes more anxiety. So with that, you can also carry on watching it. I'm going to give you some tips that you'll be able to do as well to help focus the mind, think of something dif different. Because with the anxieties producing a lot of chemicals and the emotional brain is reacting a lot to it, which the logic brain shuts down. But in this time, people do worry about family, loved ones, and people are isolated, boredom kicks in. There's, there's a lot of obstacles coming on the way and causing the worry, the anxiety, the frustration. So by doing some of these tips and techniques where you can, even if it's once once a day or more and involving people around you, obviously at home, <laughs> okay, or in your garden, really does help. And it helps that just to reframe your brain, reframe the thinking of it. It's also just Give me something else to be honest to make the time goes faster and that's all positive okay so first of all with anxiety if you're feeling really really anxious make you can make into a game as well if it's to children just look around you in the household and find five things okay that you can see and and then four things you can touch and follow from that three things you can hear two things you can smell and one thing you can taste and just just find it around your household or even if you're going for a walk an hour walk in the park which keeping the social distance following the government guideline you can do that there and just focus on what you're really doing so that's one tip the other things you can do for those who needs it because most of us really copes in routine Okay, our daily life is, is routine. We wake up, we get dressed, we go to work, we do our job, we come back home and so on. So we're really using to a routine. And without that routine, sometimes gets us really confused. They use that into advantage. And now, again, with the homeschooling and everything you have to do, please do follow what the teacher says, okay? <laughs> but this is mainly for you to get your own... Um, cortisol level and all the chemical that makes you really anxious level a bit down and get it back to normality whatever that is here's what you can do at home for example you can do some art craft with your kids on your own with your family you can do some cooking baking cakes or yes i know ingredients is an issue <laughs> okay or uh, use what you've got at home as well as that today okay i'm going to bake really lovely cake which will last several days and you can make it as fun as possible for yourself more creative for yourself if you want to if you're really into baking involve the people around you at home if they can and able to and they're not self-isolated even if they are self-isolated i know sounds really silly but while you're downstairs or somewhere and they're somewhere else use things like zoom or skype or facetime that type of conversation so they're getting in, involved with all this is about community about involvement it's all about our basic needs basic needs is very very important with our basic needs there's a lot of things that does happen also you can do things like planting if you've got a garden with this lovely sunny weather make use of it go on and do some planting again involve people whatever it is outside maybe some reading can help for those who like reading i i would, wouldn't do that because i get bored easily but i'm more a uh, active person so so what i do is i do a lot of exercise in house i do silly star jumps and walk around the garden and press ups and sit ups and things like that because yes I'm, I'm at home i'm not going out at all but you can do things like that you can do like board games anything like that so those are the things that really focus on and also simple thing as phoning a friend or texting a friend or a family or a loved one really chat about how you're feeling really realize how you're feeling because emotional intelligence is a 
very vital thing in the human uh, brain and body and everything like that because you're aware of how you're feeling re and able to express it really helps you in the future so it's not to be ashamed of it I know I used to I honestly used to if I did I'm fine and I'm like actually no I'm really concerned no, I'm really worried okay so it's really talking about some uh, talking to somebody sorry about it and how you're feeling just putting out there even just writing it down and then if you want to get rid of it get rid of it but that type of thing also feel free to message me anytime what I am planning to do and I will put it up is give 20 minutes a day on social media whatever it's a call and stuff just for a chat use it if you want to okay have an amazing evening take care goodbye